no, that is not good. And the horses say, fuck it, Peter. They are sick and tired of being treated like barn animals. And they let those humans know. As you can tell, folks, we are just telling you this is not a terrorist attack that's taking place. As you can tell, she's walking around like it is. But she's fine. She fell off a fucking wagon. She's going to be just okay. I think they're overreacting a hair. And look at the replay. Down they go. And Bambi and Stuart Little, the two horses, they didn't want any part of that. The good news for Oklahoma, though, things aren't going well on the field. Well, at least with the mascots or whatever those fucking horses are. 28-7, to 7, they're leading. As for the girl in the middle, chill out. You're fine. Not falling down. It just ex fucking exploded. Jameis Winston once got caught stealing crab legs. His favorite receivers are all defensive backs. And I think we might have just found Helen Keller's long-lost fucking brother. He's already earned the title once for shitbag titty fuck of the week. He's now trending towards Nathan Peterman-like numbers. The guy was a fucking disaster. I mean, if you gave him the football, put him on the beach in front of the ocean, he couldn't hit the fucking water. Five interceptions, one fumble, which makes six turnovers. And boy, oh boy, we all remember the infamous moment when he was confident and cocky, licking his fingers. Well, lick away, Seamus, because guess what? Twice now, you are the shitbag titty fuck of the week, and you deserve it. Subscribe to our podcast now. All over to Nana. 15 feet, we've been waiting for it. Another point is scored. My goodness. On the other end now, Lorraine has the ball. We're going to cut over to it. There she is. Pass it over to Mimi. Down to fucking Auntie Kathy. Auntie Kathy looking. Back to Mimi. Posting up. Driving in. Not a fucking chance. Cairo, a city in Egypt known for its pyramids. Well, you put two pyramids three miles apart. Cairo Santos still couldn't fucking make it in between them. It's the worst kicker in the NFL, and he's now unemployed. He should have stuck with soccer. His legs are made out of jello, and he kicks like Charlie. Brown. The kicks just kept getting worse and worse as the game progressed. This one, 36 yards wide right. It was like at halftime too, somebody roofied this guy. This one is from 30, and he hits a fucking ground ball, not even close, and now it's just unbearable to watch. 53 yards, a chance to redeem himself, and this one is disgusting. It looks like a duck was shot midair and just plummeting to the ground. No good, and that's all she wrote for Mr. Santos. The team unhappy, the city unhappy, and Vrabel's not happy. One-way ticket back to Brazil, Bubba. Unfortunately, we feel bad for you, but fuck it. You are the shitbag titty fuck of the week. Mary was enjoying her time at the barber shop until a fucking deer comes rolling through the front glass. It almost gives Mary a heart attack. She actually could have had a heart attack. We don't know. We don't see her for the rest of the film. So she might have died. We're not sure. As for this guy, he stands up and then he turns into a pussy. He says, I'm not fucking with that thing. It's got rabies. Anyways, Bambi's all fucked up in the back, freaking out. He says, I'm out of here right through the glass again. This hair salon is all fucked up now, and boy, oh boy, imagine your friends asking you how your hair appointment was, and you got to explain this one. Yikes. Not your everyday Tuesday. Back to you, Peter.